So we're here with Gareth Edmondson, uh, production manager on the new Driver game. This isn't Driver 4, right? Um, no. Nope. What, what are you calling it? This is called Driver Parallel Lines. Um, the reasons for the for the name will become apparent, but the um, uh, we we wanted to get away from the idea that this was a this was you know just a sequel and so on. We've we, we've completely changed the way the game plays. It's not um, just a Driver 3 and something. It's a it's a completely new game. So the new game's set in the late seventies in New York. So yep. why why then and why there? Okay, well we're, we're we're what we're trying to do with Driver is is focus uh, sort of back to the roots really and focus on focus really heavily on the driving and the car chases. So Driver always had a seventies sort of feel about it. So that was a that was a, a natural decision for us to set it in the seventies. Um, and New York because. Um, First of all, it's an exciting city, and it was an interesting city uh, in the 70s. Um, also, the, the layout of New York, although um, it sounds odd that a grid would be fun to drive around, because it's not all grid, because we go out to Jersey and we do we do some other uh, some other areas around. We don't just do Manhattan, but um, um, a grid actually for car chases and for the style of handling of driver is actually really good fun. So, and the early driver games. Um they were a lot more heavy about the driving, and I mean, I remember playing the early, you know, the first one on PS One, and it was all about the handling of the cars. And it was one of the first games, sort of, where you really felt like you were in a muscle car tearing around corners and power sliding. Yeah. And with each successive game, it got more, it got further away from that and more towards the on foot stuff and the, and the sort of the the shooting. I mean, are mm. you are you moving back towards that or definitely? The focus is very much driving. Um, there is out of the car stuff. We've completely overhauled that over Driver Three, so it's 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 a lot better. But um, the focus is very much car chases and very much driving muscle cars, doing big power slides around corners and all that good stuff. So I mean, is it? Uh, so you're you're a getaway driver. I mean, how different is the uh, is kind of the style of the story? Is it a little more direct in the way that you, I mean, before there was the whole undercover cop side of things yeah, yeah. I mean how are you dealing with that this time well because you're a you're a driver for hire so you, you you're free from conscience really so you're uh, the, you know there's issues with, with with what you actually can can do when you're an under, undercover cop so but as a driver for hire we can do more with the character so he can you know he's, he's doing you know sort of starting out doing small time jobs like nickel and dime stores and liquor stores and what have you and he's building his way up through the criminal hierarchy so we can we, we can um, we can have a bit more fun with the character and also we can uh, you know we can allow him to do more stuff so i mean very often when we see a franchise reinvented like this it tends to come with a with a hardware transition but this game's on xbox and ps2 how, how, That's right. why why do that playstation 2 and xbox will still be very strong still massive massive audience out there and uh, um, you know also uh, you know we want to we want to get the fans back after driver 3 so you worked on driver 3 right yeah so if you could go back and change one thing about Driver 3, what would it be? Um, I would have made it more focused on driving. All these freeform games, I mean, like the one thing that's always under criticism is is, is the combat. You look at GTA, you look at previous drivers, it, it's always been the, the running around and the, and the, the shooting and stuff. It, it, it never seems to work quite right. I mean, do you feel that you've, you've nailed it with this one? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. I mean, it's not a big part of the game, but we've, we've spent a year... Um, looking at it and re, you know, readdressing it and rewriting it, so it's a lot more intuitive. Um, it, it's, uh, but it, it's still a fairly light part of the game. Mm -hmm. And we heard a lot about movies with Driver Three. Mm -hmm. The movies was a constant comparison. It was always yeah. movie production values and movie style scene. I mean, is that are you kind of casting that aside and trying something different, or? No, I think we're still we're still Hollywood car chases. I mean, I think that's still you know that's really what it's about. It's all about car chases, um, and it's all about you know playing out the Hollywood car chases yourself. So uh, that's still a still a heavy influence.